but they do help save the environment. Electric buses are the newest addition to the Hampton Roads Transit fleet. Yeah, long time coming too. Today, reporter Julio Avila took a ride on one and explains their benefits. This is Hampton Roads Transit's new Proterra electric bus, and it's HRT's hope to deliver greater reliability and reduced maintenance. They do not take fuel, which is actually one of our biggest costs when running a bus. Um, they've been pretty good maintenance wise. The price tag, a million dollars each. Tara Puckett with HRT also says any repairs to the batteries and drive unit can be expensive compared to diesel buses. But we haven't had any battery problems or any drive unit problems. The only problems we've had are bus problems. Like we had one that went through a puddle and the horn got shorted out. But that happens when any bus goes through a big puddle. The buses can run for about six to seven hours in the winter and up to eight hours in the summer on a single charge. How long is it going to take to charge? Well, this bus is actually at 38%, so I expect it to be ready to go in about two and a half to three hours. The electric buses are rather quiet. In fact, you're probably hearing the whirring sound right now, and that's not even the motor. That's the sound of the heating system. As for the speed of these buses, they can go from zero to 60 rather quickly. When you turn a light on, the light is on. When you ask this bus for torque, you get torque. Right now, you'll only find the electric buses on Route 20 along Virginia Beach Boulevard. From downtown Norfolk all the way to the oceanfront, you're stopping just about every other block, and it just murders diesel buses. They're still in the test phase, but they are being considered for other heavy routes. In Norfolk, Julio Avila, News 3.